it's always kind of just been my butt, I would say, of just being a happy-go-lucky kind of guy and try to always bring in positive vibes. I mean, obviously every day it's, it's tough to come in with the same mindset and same happiness, but I think if you do it as much as you can, then you kind of make the whole room light up, uh, you make everyone else feel better, and I think that's something that uh, our team this year has done a great job of. When you get on that ice, trying to make each other accountable for what we're doing up there and try and come in with that happy-go-lucky mindset. You're ready to go. He's just been playing really well. It just looks like he's he's flying, and I know he's pretty motivated, and you know he's in a good place right now. So he's just having fun with it, and I mean it's great to be around him at the rink when he's feeling like that. So I mean it's just great to see, and you just want him to keep going. Mitch Marner with an assist and a milestone here this afternoon with his 300th career point, the third fastest in Leaf history to reach that plateau, and he is in legendary company. I mean, he's got this, the skills to, to make high-end plays, but I think his hockey IQ is something that separates him from most other players. The way he reads the game offensively and defensively is elite. He's a total package for sure. It brings a, a lot to our team during the games, but in the locker room, that energy and, you know, it's, it's fun to feed off of. So he's a huge, huge part of it. Good morning. Good morning, Mitch. How are we? Good, you? Great. I think a lot of people that do know me, I'm pretty vocal. I'm always talking and having a good time and joking around. So I'm very outgoing. I think that's kind of something I always knew, uh, something I wanted to bring into this locker room as well and something I have brought in. And... When it comes to game time, I'm, I get in that mode of, you know, kind of killer instincts and wanting to be the best. And I think that's our whole team kind of gets that instinct as well. I think I'm always motivated. Uh, I always want to be doing better. I always want to be better. I think that's kind of the motto of our team. I mean, everyone wants to do better. Everyone always wants to be the best they can be. So I'm just trying to go in every game, ready to play regardless against who, and I'm trying to be the best player out there. He's the same on the ice uh, as he is off the ice. He brings a lot of energy to this team. You know, he's an amazing player. He's been playing unreal for us lately, and it's a pleasure to, to be out there with him uh, sharing the ice. So, you know, the energy that he brings every day, he's always happy. You know, just, uh, just an amazing teammate, so we're lucky to have him. It's been so fun with Mitchie and, and Maddie. We have a lot of fun out there, and I think um, we'll continue to keep growing as a line. You can tell each game we're getting better, and that's, you know, that's a real good sign. But, yeah, I love playing with those two kids. It's been a drastic change from my first year to now, I'd say, for myself. I'm going to realize that uh, i got to be a leader on this team and be vocal and try and just be a guy that can be leaned on in any situation. And I think that's kind of what leaders do is just uh, any situation they get put in, they're ready for the challenge and they're ready what to expect. Obviously, this season's a little different than usual. It's, it's really weird with everything going on. So I think we're just all trying to get used to the unusual and we're doing great with it. Good morning, guys. Obviously, uh, this is probably the, the most extreme of uh, differences that we've had here, but I think it's important for us to know that um, this, is the, this is part of our reality. A lot of different teams and different sports have been dealing with this, and uh, it's come, come to a head here with the NHL. Uh, just like splitting up the dressing rooms, it's our reality, so we've got to adapt and uh, do our best to, to keep ourselves rolling here and uh, be ready to play tonight. Like, see you on the ice. I think you know everybody clap. Right, it's nice though. Oh yeah, it's very cordial. Yeah, I like it. We know that every other team's going through it, so you know you can't really have excuses. So I think for us, trying to just come in every single day, trying to figure out where we can get better at situations on the ice. And I think Kiefer's really done a great job of showing us videos of it, um, seeing what we can, and then taking it onto the ice and doing it. So. I think every day we're learning something new.
this year is different than most. We've got to play just only five other teams or six other teams. So I think uh, we know exactly what we're getting every single night. The other teams know exactly what to do against us as well. So uh, I think for us, it's just making sure every game we're ready to play, making sure we're not making it easy on teams, but knowing it's not going to be easy on us either. So trying to find ways around that, trying to make it so we have the puck more on the offensive side of it than the defensive side. But I think the hungriness just goes for, you know, how when you go into games in Tennessee, just win puck battles, be the best out there, and whoever you're lined up against, you know, be better than them.